Hi and welcome back to the channel and thank you so much for clicking into this video. So in this video, I am going to teach you how to fix Counter-Strike 2 keeps crashing mid-game. Make sure that you stay until the very end of this video so you don't miss any important step or information. And without further ado, let's get on it. So to fix the CS2 mid-game crashes, so make sure first what you need to do is to upgrade hardware. So upgrading your hardware is a good idea if your PC is old. So you can consider adding more RAM or upgrading to a better graphics card. So this helps your PC meets Counter-Strike 2's needs making the game run smoother and crash less. And better hardware handles the, the game better, making it work well and improving your gaming experience. And then next, what you can do is to roll back NVIDIA drivers. So if you think recent updates of NVIDIA drivers are making CS2 crash, you can try going back to a stable driver version like the 537.13. So here's how you can do it. So to remove the current NVIDIA drivers, just simply press the Windows and X and choose Device Manager and expand Display Adapters. And you right click your NVIDIA graphics card and pick an install device. And just follow the on-screen steps to delete the drivers. And then next, so here's how you can get the previous driver. So visit NVIDIA's official website's driver download page and put in your graphics card info to find the right driver. Then after that, just download the version that you want, which is the 537.13 or 13 driver or the one that you want to go back to. And then here's how you can install the old driver. So run the driver file you downloaded and follow the installation instructions and just restart your PC when asked. So rolling back to a stable driver might fix issues between NVIDIA drivers and Counter-Strike 2, making crashes during the game less likely or likely. And then next, what you can do is to adjust the DCOM settings. So you can change the DCOM settings to possibly fix Counter-Strike to crashes linked to this setup. So you just need to follow the steps right here. So press the window plus R key to open the run box and then just type this DCOM config or CNFG. So this is, is this command right here and then simply press enter. So this opens the component service with services window and in this window just simply expand the component services and then computer so just right click my computer and choose properties and in the computer properties window navigate to the com security tab and under the access permissions click edit default and make sure that the everyone group has allow checked for the local access and then remote access so mark the box that reads enable distributed com on this computer and below that confirm the default authentication level is set to default so after that just simply click apply and then ok to save and then restart your computer to apply the changes so the this dc comp changes might stop crashes related to the setup just remember to restart your pc to make the changes work and so that's it for this video remember you can always pause this video or go back to the video and follow the steps at your own time and I hope this helped you and if it did, please make sure to like, subscribe, and hit click notification bell button so you don't miss a video. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.